to the Adelphi administration, to Black Lives Matter, to the LGBTQ community, to every minority community out there, to every college student who has some of these same problems, to every parent who do not know what their children go through on this college campus. Adelphi, you have shown us once again that you do not care about us. Your silence proves just that. You must rather send out emails about how much you care about us, how much you're against anti-racism, anti-everything. But what good is an email if there's no action behind it? No one is being held accountable for any of these accusations. To go to a university where they tolerate discrimination against religion, against sex, against everything except the white Americans. I'm utterly disappointed. I'm even more disappointed that you feel an email will suffice these ra this rage and inappropriate actions that have been taking place on campus. To have been found out by former faculty that you all have been hiding pedophiles, you all are in on these rapes, this pedophilia on campus, I'm utterly disgusted. For you to be even okay with something like this going on. Then you say he come talk to you, but with all of these cases, people have told you multiple times how many times they have been raped, they have been hurt, something has happened to them, they've been sexually harassed. So talking is not working as I can say, as we all can see. But for you to keep saying, just talk to us, talk to us, talk to us. No, we're done talking. And I'm gonna let these people tell their own story. Because me just saying it, me just keep bringing it up, you might think that I might be lying. But no, I'm going to let you hear it from their own mouth. This is utterly disgusting. The people who are about to share their stories are very strong. It's horrible that they have to go through this, and they had to go through this. But it's time to bring truth to the light. What's done in the dark must come to the light. Adelphi University, I'm strongly disappointed to even have to attend this university. I would never want anyone else to go through this. Without further ado, please listen to these people's stories. What's up, everybody? I'm Jermaine Howerton. For those of you who do not know me, I'm an alumni from Adelphi University, and I'll just give you my take and my experience. So, to be completely honest, throughout the four years, I always felt as if I was an outsider due to my color. Um, maybe that could be me. Maybe you never know. But for one experience, I was a member of a fraternity. And when, when you're in a fraternity, it's supposed to be a brotherhood. So we had a we had a chapter meeting and and we're talking whatever this and that. And then this kid says white is right. And it's like, bro, like. What even possess you to say that? Like, that's really OD. And then when I try to reprimand, not reprimand the person, when I try to confront the person that said it, I'm looked at as being an over-emotional person. So that was the first thing. It's like, okay, they know they know they're wrong. They, they, like, they, they know that was out of line, but they still didn't care about the right thing to do, let alone my feelings. So that was one scenario. Another scenario that I witnessed as an outsider looking in, but it was still applicable to me, was when one of my frat brothers, he posted a video of him dancing. And then the girl from another sorority, she comments under his picture and says, oh my God, you have N-I-G-G-E-R rhythm. She literally said that. It was an uproar at the university. Everybody was um, emailing, calling the, um, the president. What did the president do? Absolutely nothing. Because sure enough, the following week, this girl is right back at the university, right back in her nursing program, as if nothing happened. So when someone says, oh, we have to stay gold, our 125 years of excellence, it must be protected. That, that basically means it's like stay white. They, they don't really care to conform. They feel threatened as if, we are going to take over and be like the dominant race. That's not the case. We just want the same rights that you guys have. And it, you shouldn't have to go above, above and beyond for that. I think that's just, that's normal. Adelphi, in regards to LGBTQ plus inclusiveness, I always see that map of over 50 single stall gender inclusive restrooms across campus. 
Yet when the newest building, the next building was constructed, there was no consideration to have any of these single stalled restrooms installed in that building. This decision affects so many trans, gender non-conforming, as well as other students who need a single stalled restroom to use and their safety was not taken into account at all. We're tired. For me, Delphi has made acquiring my degree a little more difficult than I expected. Um, when I transferred for Delphi, I expected more support from my department and um, my advisor and I actually got less. Um, it was difficult to meet with my advisor. Um, it's hard to get um, emails. And when I try to bring my issues to the um, the deans of the department, um, I was told I couldn't because my advisor was the head of the department and there's nothing that they could do for me to support me. And because of lack of communication, I ended up having to stay another semester at Adelphi and spending another $30,000 that I don't have. And me being out of state, I don't get a lot of in-state tuition or extra funds. And it's been very difficult and stressful for me. So I was sexually assaulted on campus as a first semester freshman and Adelphi administrators told me it was my fault because I was drunk. And they also tried to coerce me into saying that I was lying about the entire situation and that I actually wanted it in those exact words. They, um, I had one meeting with the Dean of Student Affairs and one meeting with the Title IX coordinator at the time and I had no other mental health support or anything like that, even after I reported being sexually harassed and slut-shamed by other men on campus who knew about the incident. Um, after that, in the fall of 2018, my sophomore year, I made a Finsta post where I talked about how the I will not be sexually harassed posters bothered me for the exact reason that I saw one when I was in health services getting an STD test after I had been assaulted. Um, because of this Finsta post, other people had reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to do something about it. And we started like a little movement to communicate with administrators that the posters were wrong and we should get them taken down. Thankfully, we had the support of the LGS directors and they gave us like the right emails and contact information for different people to work with. For two years, I met with administrators trying to get the posters changed. They even held a poster redesign contest, which went absolutely nowhere. And I graduated from Adelphi about two years ago and while there I found myself being pushed away and silenced in many of my classes when I would give race related answers. In order to avoid that I took classes that had race in their title or culture, things that where I knew I would be talking about something I'm passionate about. I shouldn't have had to do that when race is truly related to everything. Um, it's not right and not it's not only the diversity equity and inclusion office who should be taking um action to change this but the entire university it is not only the job of one office to do this but everybody at adelphi we have been fighting for far too long adelphi we are tired hello although i'm not a student of adelphi university I have viewed these racial injustices and this discrimination towards minorities, towards people with disabilities. I've seen these rape scandals. And I was thinking about transferring next semester to be closer to my best friend. But after that, I would never want to be at an institution where I cannot feel safe and taken care of. And you shouldn't either. If you have a story, if something happened to you while attending this university, don't be afraid to speak up. It shouldn't be that hard to be black. It shouldn't be that hard to have a disability. It should just be easy, especially when you're at an institution where you should feel like people care about you. And when the president has nothing to say, when the administration has nothing to say, don't fall for these lies and these scandals that they'll try to hit you with. That's what I've been told. My best friend has came to me with plenty of stories telling me all the things that the school has done to him, but he just wants his degree. So why not finish there? And I understand where he's coming from and I understand where you're coming from. And Adelphi minorities and students, I stand with you. I had this class during intercession and gladly it only lasted three weeks. The professor chose me as the punching bag. 
and would constantly single me out, blame me for things that were going wrong, and once even threatened to deduct points for me. I came to the US solely for the purposes of getting an education from Adelphi in 2017. Um, in my first semester there was a coup in Zimbabwe and the army set off an explosion where my mom worked and took over the broadcast, the national broadcasting station and they ousted our then president Mugabe and so our, our currency like completely fell apart the exchange rate plummeted when I left Zimbabwe one US dollar was equal to one Zimbabwean dollar and now it's like one US dollar equals 500 Zimbabwean dollars so my dad's salary which is the only salary that my family lives on, went from $4,000 a month to like $200 a month. And I told Adolfi about this, and they didn't care. They didn't care at all. Um, so I got jobs, I applied for scholarships, I made it happen, but I was accruing a little bit of debt. And they were giving me scholarships, you know, I was a really good student, they were giving me a lot of scholarships, I was making them look real good. And then at the beginning of this year, they said that they weren't going to help me anymore. And by that stage, the situation in Zimbabwe was really bad. We'd had a hurricane, um, there's been a drought, there was the coup, now there's just, the military has completely taken over the country. You know, I haven't been home to see my family. And they just didn't care at all. And there were so many instances of discrimination. On m in my second semester, um, a white boy looked me in the eyes and told me that he wanted to beat me like a slave. Um, and hook up with me. He, he had this sexual fetish. So when I reported it, public safety said, oh, we know him. He's not harmful. He's just not very smart. And they refused to take my report. So I said, no, you're going to write this down. So they wrote it down and went to Title IX. And Title IX like, laughed it off too. They even suggested that I go to therapy to get culturally acquainted with the US because I was the problem. I was the one who was thinking that it was inappropriate for him to be calling me, telling me that he wanted to beat me like oh. a slave. Now that you all have heard those horrible stories, I'm utterly disgusted at this university and I'm so sorry for anyone who attends this university or who plans on attending this university. At FI University, we demand someone be held accountable for these actions. To hear about mold in the buildings, to hear about these horrible living conditions, to hear about how the mentally disabled have been discriminated against, to hear about so many discrimination cases, about a campus that profitizes off diversity, it's utterly crazy to me because I just don't understand how much you can boast about diversity, yet you don't even take care of the little diverse students you have there. You don't have many, but to be this much of a minority at a PWI and to be treated like you're nothing, this is not the 1920s, this is not the 1800s. We will not sit for this anymore. To hear about people's religions get discriminated against is just morally wrong. And it's against what the United States of America stands for. To the Delphi administration, someone will be held accountable for this. If not, we do not want a campus-wide email. The student body is ready to take action, so if no one on campus will, we are ready to protest. We are angry. And someone will answer for these, these horrible stories, these horrible accusations, these horrible actions. I'm utterly disappointed in you, Delphi. To the college students who are thinking about transfer here, once again, I say do not. To the high school students who are looking at this school maybe as a great opportunity, they're going to try to take your scholarship probably like in the second semester. I don't recommend coming here. The parties are not even good, by the way. Um, to anyone who ever thought about attending this university, not under the cr present leadership, I think you should. Maybe under another leader, but as of now, it is under horrible leadership that won't even be held accountable for their actions. They're going to choose to ignore everything that we say up until we're silent. However, I will never be silent. If you do not respond to any of these accusations, just understand. We are going to be out there. We are going to be protesting. We demand change. We demand action. 
If you do not do anything, we will place action.